Investing for life and the future is like a journey with twists and turns in the road. What will you save for? Your first home or perhaps your children's future? Are you putting money away for retirement or for a dream holiday you've always planned? The first few steps on your investment journey can seem daunting at first, but if you plan ahead, know where you're heading and give yourself plenty of time to get there, you can make that journey much easier, giving you time to concentrate on the things that really matter. Before you set off, make sure that you have a pot of cash for emergencies tucked away in a bank or building society account so you can get at it when you need to. Once you have enough cash set aside, you may decide to invest for the longer term, taking on more risk in the hope of better returns. An investment company is a company that exists solely to invest your money. Your money is pooled together with money from other investors, giving you a share in a wide range of different investments in order to spread your risk. Investment companies have professional fund managers who choose and look after these investments and aim to make you the best returns they can. Over the long term, investment companies have consistently outperformed cash, inflation and stock markets, giving smaller investors access to the best possible investment expertise. It's also comforting to know that they have been around for 150 years. The advantage of the investment company structure is that it's a captive pool of capital which allows investment managers to take longer term investment decisions and perhaps invest in less liquid asset classes. So it might be uh, the stocks and shares that everyone's familiar with or it might be uh, less liquid, uh, more esoteric asset classes such as infrastructure or private equity or commercial property. It's important to know what you want from an investment company. Some people want regular income payments, known as dividends. Others don't need that regular income. They just want their money to grow as much as possible. And some people want both income and growth. Once you've decided whether you're an income or growth type of investor, you'll be faced with various other choices. If you're just starting out, you may want to select a more general fund that makes most of these decisions for you investing in a wide range of sectors in the UK or around the world. If choosing an investment company sounds complicated, the AIC can help. Our website offers a wealth of information to help you choose the right investment company, plus a range of guides so that you understand the benefits and the risks. When setting off on any journey, it's important to pack carefully. That means having a balanced collection of investments that suits your needs. Fortunately, online share dealing services mean that it's never been easier and cheaper to buy investment company shares and see all your investments in one place. Be prepared for setbacks along the way. Investment companies put your money at risk and they can fall in value as well as rise. Investment companies are not suitable for you if you need a guaranteed return or cannot afford to lose the money you invest. Give yourself plenty of time so that if things don't go to plan, you have time to get back on track. Investment companies are intended as long-term investments, so you should be prepared to hold them for at least five years, preferably 10 or more. And remember, you don't have to do this all by yourself. If you are not comfortable taking these decisions, you should speak to an independent financial advisor. They can talk through your plans and recommend a portfolio that's right for you. When I first meet clients, I get to know uh, their current situation. What is it that they're trying to achieve? Uh, I then create a financial plan for them, given regard to how much investment risk they're comfortable in taking. And when it's appropriate, I'll recommend that they use investment companies. People are living longer, healthier lives than ever before, but there may come a time when a regular income is more important to you than growth, which is where investment companies really come into their own. Investment companies have some unique advantages when it comes to delivering a high or growing income. 
Advantages that have meant that some investment companies have been able to increase their dividends every year for 20, 30, even 50 years in a row. A unique advantage of investment trusts over all other forms of pooled funds, at least as far as income seekers are concerned, is that investment trusts can help you avoid the risk of dividend disappointment. Dividends have provided most of the real returns from the stock market over the last century or so, but unfortunately, dividends can be cut or cancelled without notice. Investment trusts, unlike any other form of pooled fund, can retain some of the returns from the stock market in good years to top up income payments to shareholders in less good or bad years. And this can be particularly important for people hoping to pay for retirement with income from their investments. This income is not guaranteed, like the income from an annuity, but you do retain control of your capital. Deciding whether to buy an annuity or keep your money invested is a very important decision, so you may want to consult a financial advisor. Whether you are saving for your children's futures or for your own retirement, investment companies can offer something extra with the potential for better long-term returns, unique income advantages and 150 years of meeting people's financial needs. They really can be with you every step of the way.